Hey family, welcome back to my channel, Waking Butterfly Readings. Greetings, greetings to you all. Much love to you all. Thank you for stopping by. As you see, I am doing a quick reading on Cat William. I've never done a reading on Cat William before. We all know that he is this awesome um, comedian. He's definitely one of my favorites. And he's been in my mind for some reason. A lot of times, it doesn't have to be a celebrity. When people are on my mind, I like to do readings on them just to get an idea of, you know, what's going on with them. I like to meditate on them. So anyway, many of you know, a lot of times I'm shuffling my cards ahead of time, but I'm going to call this reading update. Even though I've never done a reading on Cat Williams before, this is what I'm sensing about him in the present. And the fact that I'm sensing this information right here about him in the present, I want to call it update. Update. It's like you're reading on Cat Williams, okay? What's going on with Cat Williams in the present? What is he dealing with? What are his issues? He's been really quiet lately. And, you know, rightfully so. I mean, due to COVID-19, a lot of these celebrities are not, you know, active, shall I say. They're not, you know, um, entertaining us by doing a lot of touring and, you know, um, they're not performing. A lot of them are home and they're sitting around with their loved ones and they're doing a lot of thinking, okay? Um, they're taking time right now to really reflect on their lives and whatever is going on with them, um, shall I say, on the home front, okay, they are dealing with it, whether it be positive or negative, all right? So anyway, this reading is about Cat Williams. I was setting my attentions on Cat Williams, as I stated. I wanted to know what's presently going on with him in the present. Whatever you hear, this is allegedly. It, and it is for entertainment purpose only. But many of you know, I am there by the spirit. This message is not in divine order. These are just random messages. We have ears to hear. And let's get with this reading. Now, what I see so far, okay? I already got my spread laid out here. What I'm seeing so far about Cat. And don't worry, I'm going to show you each, each card, all right? I'm not going to read up on all of them, but certain ones I will read up on because I, I feel led by the Spirit to read up on them, okay? So as I stated, I want to know what's presently going on with Cat. What are his issues and struggles? You know, what's going on with his brother? Because he's very, very quiet. He's not in the spotlight like he once was. Um, Let me say this real quick. What I am seeing, Cat is still dealing with some conflict, Okay? It's pretty much conflict as far as things that are going on, you know, around him, okay, in his personal life, how he chooses to deal with certain situations. Let me just say that, all right? Or shall I say managing to learn how to deal with situations uh, in a positive manner instead of in a um, negative, all right? I'm definitely seeing that in here. Um, everything is really just due to can't. Uh, operating in his divine intuition, making better choices, all right? As far as him moving forward, let me just say that. So anyway, the first card is accelerated motion. Basically, things are moving real fast, real fast behind the scenes. But let me just show you each card, and then I speak on each one, all right, briefly. Accelerated motion. The next card is upside down. The next card is third eye chakra. This represents I see, but it's upside down. The next card is upside down. Upward, it is heart chakra. This represents I love, but it's upside down. The next card is upside down. Upward, this is power. This is somebody who's operating in power, okay? Or they're tapping into inner you know, strength. This is the opposite. The next card is upside down. Upward, this is truth. This is somebody who's operating with clarity. They are acknowledging something. They are accepting the truth about a matter, all right? They are receiving uh, revelation, shall I say, right here. Hmm. Not so much, all right? They're not operating in truth. They're not seeing the truth of a matter. Right here is intuition, okay? Right here is upside down. 
upward, this is the fertility card. All right, whether you're birthing, whether somebody is, is going to end up getting pregnant, or you're trying to birth a idea, okay, or a project, whatever the case may be, you're trying to birth something, but it's upside down. And also, when I look at this card right here, when it comes to fertility, you know, somebody can, can end up getting pregnant and end up having an abortion or a miscarriage, okay? Or they can be, it can be somebody who's going to get pregnant, but it's upside down, okay? It's upside down. This card right here is upside down. Upward, this is awareness. This is somebody who's operating in their awareness, okay? They're knowing, but it's upside down. So it's kind of like their mind is really cloudy. You know, it's hard for them to see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know? They're not operating their divine awareness. There I know. This card right here is the universe card. This represents completion of a project or your life cycle. Or career, whatever, whatever the case may be. This right here is triumph. You can look at this from all kind of ways. Legal battles. He will triumph in that. Or whatever it is that he's trying to accomplish, he will triumph in it, okay? The next card is triumph and success, confirmation. None of these cards are in divine order, but there are timelines to each message, okay? But in this timeline, shall I say, he will triumph and be successful, as far as whatever it is that he's trying to do. Right here in this timeline, he's dealing with conflict and defeat. It could be personal or business. Right here, this is upside down. This is upward. This is obstacles and challenge. This card also represents power struggle. Okay, power struggle, but it's upside down. So this is one who's coming out of the power struggle. This is one who's coming out of obstacles and challenges. Okay. This right here is upside down. Upward, this is patient. This is someone who has a seat in the ground and they are being patient. Okay. They sow the seed and they are being patient, waiting for the seed to what? Grow. This is someone who's impatient. They're impatient. They're waiting for something, but they're impatient. This is upside down. Upward, this is deception and envy. Deception and envy. When I look at this card, mm, I think about how well do you know those that are around you? Are people around you for your highest good? How well do you really know the people that are around you? Are they genuine? Anyway, this card is upside down. Now, some of these cards I will read up on because they have additional meaning and I want many of you to receive clarity, all right? The Deception and Envy card, I will read up on this card. Obstacles and Challenges, I will read up on this card. Conflict and Envy, I will read up on this card. The Universe card, I will read up on this card. Fertility, okay, I will read up on this card. But anyway, so far from what I'm seeing, okay, um, cat in the present, okay, and like I said, everything is not so much happening in the now, things have to play out. That's just the way it is. But a lot of this is happening in the now. Because I'm seeing this card right here, accelerated motion. It's a lot of things happening in the now. Okay, it's a lot of things that's being played out in the now in, in this deck right here. But things have to play out. A lot of times with my reading, things are playing out in the now from within three days, within three weeks, or within three months or before three months. I probably say it's about two months, okay? Give or take. But this is my update reading in the present. What's going on with Kat as far as what she's going to be dealing with, okay? Within these timelines. What's a lie going on in the present, 
Okay, it's a lot behind the scenes that's going on with Cat. I see why he's so quiet. Okay, he's dealing with a lot. But little did he know, he shall overcome. He shall overcome. But he's dealing with a lot right now. It's a lot happening in the now. Things are really accelerating. And something going on with him with, when it comes to his heart, you know. Um, this card right here is I love. It's upside down. I don't love. You don't love what, cat? The person that you're currently with? With the situation that you're in, you don't love? What's going on with you, cat? You don't love what? Right here, this is upside down. This says, I see. I don't see. You don't see what, cat? You don't see what? Your current situation, the way things are unfolding. Are you blind to what your current current eyes are showing you? Is that why you can't really see what's going on around you? He's saying, I can't see. It's something that he should be seeing, okay? But he, he seems blind to it, okay? He seems blind to it. Now, I see it right here. I see it right here. That this could be cat, but it could be the person that's with him. Maybe they don't love him. Okay? He might have somebody around him that doesn't love him, but they are there for whatever reason, shall I say. Pretty much what you can do for me, if you know what I mean, partnership alliance. For some reason, I'm starting to pick up that in my spirit. Who's around him that's not really, really with him, shall I say? Okay? Because cat is saying, I can't see it. He's blind to it. He can't see it. Now, when I think about it, I don't think that this is Kit. I feel like I'm sensing that this is somebody that's around him that doesn't. They might love him, but they're not in love with him. But the card says, I love. Upside down is I don't love. They may love what he can do for them, but they don't love him. And Kit is saying, I can't see. All right. He, he's, he's feeling blind to it. Right here is backing me up with this card right here. This is the one who's resonating truth. They have clarity about the situation. Upside down, he can't see the truth in the matter. This also represents judgment, okay? This is a balance scale, all right? Can't presently cannot see the truth of the matter, all right? He's, he's, he's blind to it. Maybe he's the one that sees what he wants to see, okay? But he's not seeing the truth in a matter that's pertaining to his personal life. Okay, he's not receiving clarity in the present yet. Yet, he's not seeing it. And a lot of it is going to come to light when I finish with certain these cards. I'm going to read up on them, okay? I want many of you to, to receive clarity. Whether it be legal battles, whether it be legal battle, battles, whatever was personally going on with him, Kat should come out of it on top. All right. According to the spirit, he shall triumph. OK, he shall triumph successful. OK. And maybe many of you know what this is. You know, I I, um, I don't have um, Twitter, Snapchat and all of that. You know, I just stick with YouTube. OK, but it's something going on with him. I'm sensing it could be legal. Maybe due to legal battles, whatever, maybe court, whatever the case may be, he's going to triumph. He's going, to, he's going to be on top, whatever this is, okay? Obviously, he's a fighter, okay? He, stand, he, he, he stands up for himself, all right? According to this right here, this is intuition. Can't need to operate in his intuition. This is what he's trying to do. This is what he's really, really trying to do. Can't he do a lot of, whatever the situation is that's presently bothering him, he needs to do a lot of praying and meditation, Okay? Pray, 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 and meditate to receive the answers. Go within, all right? And definitely listen to his intuition. As I stated here, this speaks about fertility. As far as somebody trying to give birth to their dreams, an idea, all right? Or they got somebody pregnant, all right? Whatever the case may be. This is upside down. This is someone who's trying to birth something, but they're having a hard time to birth it. And if he did get somebody pregnant, 
if he did end up, if he if he ends up getting somebody pregnant, let me just say this, who's ever around him, him, let me just say that, they could end up having a miscarriage. All right. I I, I this card had popped up when I had um did a reading on John Legend and his wife. Okay. Well, I did a reading on his wife, let me just say that. And this card popped up. At the time. You know, she wasn't saying that she was pregnant, but as I did the reading a couple of weeks later, she was saying that she was pregnant, but she had a miscarriage. Let me just throw that out there. Christy Teagans. Anyway, I'm not saying the cat's going to get somebody pregnant, but if he do, it doesn't look like it's going to be in the favor of the individual that's trying to have a baby by him. Or it could be maybe he's trying to birth an idea or some project. Something, whatever the case may be, it won't end well. Okay, it will not end well. Whether it be an actual pregnancy or a project, whatever the case may be, he's trying to birth something. And if he is currently with somebody and he really wouldn't have a life with this person and a family with this person, in the present, in this timeline, it's not going to be in his favor. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm just interpreting the cards right here. He's not operating in his awareness. Okay. This is saying, I know. As well as I see. But he's blind. <laughs> For some reason, he's blind to a certain situation. I truly believe it's, it has to do with his personal life. Cat, I truly believe you got some people around you. They, they're just there for what they can get. They're not really there for you, okay? They're there for you, but they're really not there for you, if you know what I mean. He's, he's, he's not seeing the truth in the matter. So anyway, of course, it represents, it speaks about him having struggles and coming out of the struggles. I'm getting ready to start reading up on some of these cards. I want many of you to receive clarity, and then I'm going to end this video, because I don't want to make it too long. All right, family? All right, family, the first card, I want to read up on this. I didn't turn it sideways, but I want to read up on it. I want many of you to receive clarity. Upward, this represents power and strength, okay? And a host of other things it represents. But it was upside down concerning cat in the, in the present, okay? I want to read the additional meaning. I want many of you to receive clarity. Now, I have ears to hear. As a spiritual being, you have unlimited powers at your command. This card represents inner strength, willpower, courage, compassion, generosity, and love. At any moment, these beautiful qualities can assist you in coping with an adverse condition in front of you. And in, 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 in the present, he's not operating in that, okay? He's not operating in that. Or the many surrounding your life, set aside the necessary time to resolve such issues okay power represents more than physical extreme strength it can also be channeled emotionally mentally and spiritually when you have balance over body mind and soul and with the power of spirit anything can be overcome to achieve a positive result you hear that but he's not operating in this and this represents also someone who's balanced, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. He's a little unbalanced right now due to the things that are presently going on with him behind the scenes. And I truly believe it has to do with his personal life, okay? Right now, he's presently like this. He's unbalanced in, in certain areas concerning the message in this card. When you have balance over body, mind, and soul, and with the power of spirit... Anything can be overcome to achieve a positive result. Power and strength can be developed to work in harmony in any given situation. Every obstacle, listen family. Every obstacle, every area helps build your knowledge and understanding of the world around you. When you make a mistake, it's a chance for you to stop Listen and ask yourself, what am I supposed to be learning here and how can I make the situation better? According to the spirit, he's not doing that. That's what he should be doing if I'm operating in power and strength. 
okay? As far as operating in, in, a, uh, in, a, in a way of being balanced, mind, body, and spirit. You know, you're taking time to reflect, okay? To look at the situation from the perspective that's in your favor. But right now, he, he pretty much acting a little all over the place, all right? He's not acting uh, emotionally balanced. Ask yourself, what am I supposed to be learning here and how can I make this situation better? Mistakes are a great wake-up call, even that they provide you with opportunities to discover your weakness, what needs to be changed, and which area of your life needs improving. You hear that? Which area of your life needs to be proven? And also, um, those things that are not your highest good, whether it be people, okay? It looks like he needs to clean house. Okay, it's like cat needs to really, really clean house as far as people that are around him that are not for his highest good. Obviously, he having a hard time seeing it, but uh, I, be I believe in time he will. He will. He need to get his power back, right? Operating strength, get his power back so he can start seeing real clearly what's going on around him and not be used, not be played. Okay, now don't let people run over him. Just because, okay? Just because. As far as not wanting to be alone, because when people have money, please know you cannot buy love. You cannot buy love. I'm telling you that right now. These never they can get the baddest, beautiful female and all of that, but them looks will fade. It's all about a person's heart, their character. And I pray that, you know, that he will learn this. Them looks will fade. Let me just tell you that. So the next card is truth. A cat is not receiving clarity in the truth in a situation. I want to read up on this card. The additional uh, meanings to this card. So I have ears to hear. The qualities of this card illustrate spiritual awakening, clarity, revelation of truth, and cosmic consciousness. At times, it takes a wake-up call. You hear it, family? At times, it takes a wake-up call to get your attention and show how far you need to go. This card comes for to do just that. Evaluation of the past along with the lesson that you've learned or still needs to understand must now be a top priority. So it's a lesson Kat needs to learn, all right? When people come into our lives, they come into our lives to teach us a lesson. So it's a lesson that Kat needs to learn in this situation. Doing so will enable you to forgive, accept, and heal so that you can move forward in a balanced spiritual mindset. The truth card reminds you that a significant, and listen family, because this card was upside down. And this card also represents judgment, depend on how cat moves, depend on, um, you know, the choices that he makes as far as, as it being in his favor, that, that which is for his highest good. The truth card reminds you that a significant change must be made in a certain area of your life, but don't make any hasty decisions. And remember, Kat is very impatient, family. He is very impatient. But don't make any hasty decision. Take your time for any choices or alteration must be weighed and evaluated with the most careful and wisest of judgments. Whatever step you take now will have far-reaching consequences, more than you'll ever know. Using the power of the universe and blending them with a little help from the physical world will assist you in bringing about clarity and a shift of awareness. What was once not obvious, you hear that? What was once not obvious will now be realized and understood. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself, cat. Be honest with yourself and trust what you know to be true. Cat, see things for what it is. See things for what it is. Right now, at this particular timeline, he's not seeing things for what it is. Okay? And that can be his downfall pertaining to this situation right here. As far as people getting their hooks in him and trying to use him, okay, or whatever the case may be. It's Cat's life, and it is for him to see things for what it is, okay, to see people for who they are. They are trying to attach themselves to him, 
for the wrong reasons. It's for Kat to see as well as to learn as far as winning out, get rid of the baggage, get rid of those people that are not for his highest good, okay? Now, this is the fertility card. I'm going to read up on this card. It has additional meaning. This card was upside down, all right? This fertility card was upside down. So let's see what the spirit has to say. Although this card, the manifestation of growth is on the horizon, you're the creator and the seed that have been planted in the past. Whether they were happiness, comfort, abundance, prosperity, family, children, ideas, or even thoughts, okay? It's speaking from, from the perspective of, you know, what Cat really, really want, okay? He really wants family. He has children now, but he really, really wants family because Cat is not married at all, okay? And I actually believe that he really wants somebody in his life that really loves him and to have a child with them and, you know, to get married, you know, at the end of the day. But anyway, <clears throat> whether they were happiness, comfort, abundance, prosperity, family, children, ideas, or even thoughts are now ready to give birth into your world. Be patient as you watch your seed to take root and grow. But we all know Cat is not being patient because we saw the patient card upside down, okay? He wants this, but he's being very impatient. And he's also blind because really, he's trying to have all of this really with the wrong person. Let me just say that, okay? Be patient as you watch your seed to take root and grow. Nurture them as they become strong and healthy. Open yourself to the life force of the universe. This card also represents femininity and Mother Earth, who is calling to you the arms of her beauty and reaching out. She wants to embrace you on her seashore, mountains, forests, and gardens. Go to her and meet her halfway. Also, the card representing that cat need to get out in nature. It, let me tell you, family, nature heals like no other, especially when you're stressed out and you're going through something. Go outside, take your shoes off and plant your feet and just sit out there in nature. Sit out there like around trees. It, will, it is very therapeutic and it is very healing. And according to the spirit, this is something Cat needs to be doing as well. He needs to get grounded, period, because he's definitely imbalanced in his emotions as well. as His thoughts are all over the place. He can't even think straight. I'm serious. He can't even think straight. <clears throat> Acknowledge that the same energy that makes up the heavens, earth, plants, animals, and the mineral kingdom is also part of you. Start nurturing yourself and infuse your soul with love and compassion. Soon, you hear that? Pat me, cat, I said pet, I apologize, family. Cat needs to nurture himself, all right? He needs to take time out for himself and nurture himself. Infuse your soul with love and compassion. Soon others will see and feel your devotion. As you interact with others around you now, or even if you're in the midst of solving a problem, use gentle care and kindness as you handle such situation. This isn't a time for you to be inconsiderate, possessive, domineering, forceful, or pushy. Act from the loving place of your heart center. Okay. The benefit energy that resides there will assist you in making sacrifice in order to care for and help others as well as yourself. All right. So according to the spirit, you know, whatever's going on with him, what would really, really help him and and what will also help um solve his problems as far as it's really how he handles a situation, okay, the way he goes about it, you know. Um, one of these um, characteristics is something that he's definitely doing, but he needs to really, you know, um, be mindful of how he's carrying himself. It says possessive characteristics, domineering, being forceful and pushy, okay? He, according to the spirit, he needs to act from a loving space, okay? Whatever. This pertains to, let me just say that, it could be business, all right? It could be business, or if not, it could be personal, something going on in the relationship.
But if you don't get a handle on it, whatever it is that he's trying to birth, shall I say, it's going to be a flop. And from this perspective, whatever he's trying to birth is not going to um, be in his favor. All right. Because he has to learn the lesson and operate in these characteristics of what the message is saying. OK, he got it for one thing. He got to get balanced, period. Whatever's going on with him, he got him all over the place in the present. OK, mentally, he can't think. His, his mind is, is cloudy and his, his emotions are not in harmony or not in the way that's going to be favorable for him. OK. Five, according to the spirit, he's not operating in his awareness. I can't make this up. This is someone who's operating in their awareness, but they are balanced. You have to be balanced in order to operate your awareness, okay? When it comes to his emotions and his mental state of mind, he's not operating in awareness in the situation, okay? You got to be able to think clearly. In order to move in, the, in a way that's favorable for you, okay? I see, it's a, it's a lot of situations going on here. I'm seeing a lot of personal things going on with him, as well as some things can be business related. Some things he will be triumph in, but in other areas, things that he really wants, okay, it's not going to be in his favor. It's, it's not until he changed his way of thinking, okay, his way of moving, all right? But in the areas, According to the spirit, but in certain areas, he will be triumph. You know, he will get on track. Okay. All we all we seeing right now is timelines of events that's gonna be playing out. That's all, but they're not in order. All right, them. This is a universal card right here. This card represents um completion and fulfillment. You've come far on your journey and it's time to be rewarded for your efforts. This card can symbolize completion, triumph, peace, liberation, and fulfillment. Everything you strive for is within your reach. Meet it halfway and grab it. The universe is the last of the McConnell, I'm sorry, of the major Arcano cards and reflects the works that you accomplish on your travels. So we all know Cat had put the work in, okay? And we all know that he um, is good at what he does. You know, he's definitely a funny man. And, um, Kay is a hard worker. He's, he's, he's put the work in, okay? But he's starting to come to completion, all right? But more importantly, it represents the wisdom that you've gained along the way. You should now honor and acknowledge the truly one, wonderful soul that you are and accept the vital part that you play in the bigger scheme of life. The world is yours to command, and you're free to travel in whatever direction your heart desires. You're connected to everything in the cosmos. The universe card is a reminder that the same energy making up the stars and the skies, the same energy that's coursing through the universe is in reach in every individual. All right. Um, believe in each star. Hold on. I am going through all of that. Okay, but the point is... Ken has put the work in, all right? That which he wants to accomplish, he has accomplished, okay? So according to the spirit, you know, it's like job well done, Cat. You know, uh, if, if he wanted to retire, he can retire and still be good to go. Uh, I truly sense that Cat issue right now is personal when it comes to the home front, you know, something that he really, really wants. Like I said, he's not married. He has children, but I truly sense Cat wants to really just settle down and be with somebody who really loves him for him and to have a child with that person and be married, okay? Because having money, having nobody to share it with, you know, it ain't hitting no nothing. And he knows this, okay? Cat wants the full package, all right? He wants he wants the full package when it comes to being successful because he knows just money alone is not being successful, if we have nobody to share it with. He has his children, but he wants that lady love, all right? He wants that queen by his, by his side. But we don't want Kit to be blind to where he just gravitating to anybody, all right? He got to really operate in divine wisdom and far as attracting the right kind of person to him, okay? But this card represents job well done, completion. 
And I'm not saying the cat is going to retire, but if he wanted to, we know financially, you know, uh, he'll be just fine. Okay. Cause he's in a good place financially. He'll be just fine if he wanted to retire. And let me say this real quick with this triumph and success card. Even though I speak about Cat and his current pre present issues, okay, things have to play out. Keep that in mind. Things have to play out, but he will get to this right here, triumph and success. Now, this card does have additional meaning, but I truly believe also this card represents, as far as from Cat, mental perspective as well, okay? I truly believe that Cat has a lot of, a lot of, um, he, did, he has a lot of mental conflict, meaning, um, Cat deals with a lot of negative thinking, okay? And he's really his own worst enemy. Let me just say that. Due to the choices that he makes and due to his thinking, you know, he got to know how to flip his thoughts and pot to be positive and not negative because as long as he keeps thinking negative, and he let these negative thoughts sink in and he's constantly putting a lot of energy in, he's going to attract more negativeness to him. Let me just say that. All right, because I thought our energy and the more we keep thinking in a negative manner, we're going to uh, draw more of it to us. OK. And it would be hard for him to receive clarity when he's unbalanced in that area. All right. This card is a reminder to banish negative thoughts formed from your mind, strengthen and tap into your mental powers and use clarity with control in order to initiate new ways of thinking and according to this card he's going to get to this place he's going to get to this place all right i'm not definitely trying to throw our brother under the under the bus cat is very smart and very intelligent but everybody have weaknesses okay we all have issues this is just one of the things that he just needs to overcome okay um an idle mind can be very dangerous, okay? As they say, the devil playground, you know, uh, I'm sure he's doing a lot of sitting around and thinking and reflecting, but he needs to focus on the positive more than the negative. That's all I'm saying. But this is a good omen. Whether it be his personal life or business, he's going to be triumph and he will be successful, all right? This right here is conflict and defeat. I'm going to read up on this card. It has additional meaning. The number five mental card represents significant learning and change. And how you handle yourself at this time is vital to your overall well-being. This card correlates to a lack of sensitivity in taking action or response to conditions or situations around you. This means for sensitivity could relate to you or someone else in your life. Even though a battle can be won, it's important to evaluate the cost and pain to both parties. Sometimes it is best to surrender and walk away if no answers or victory can be achieved. Don't assign blame. Become deceitful or set out to get revenge. You hear that, family? For the results in the negative energy becoming part of you, you are being tested on how dedicatedly and gentle and gently, I'm sorry, you take your next step. Remember, everything in your life is an opportunity to what? Learn and grow. This represents conflict and defeat. Whether it's cat, it's going to be dealing with conflict and defeat, and he will be defeated. Or the other party, whoever it is that's coming against him, cat will be dealing with conflict, and they will be defeated. It's one or the other. But me seeing this right here, if Cat is dealing with any kind of conflict and defeat, he's going to come out on top, okay? He's going to be triumphed, all right? Whatever this is, he's going to be triumphed. But according to the spirit, he is dealing with some conflict, okay? He is dealing with some type of conflict.
All right, family. The next card is Obstacles and Challenges. This card also represents power struggle. Okay, whether it's like I said, whether it's personal or business, but this card was upside down. I want to read the additional meaning to this card. And if he was dealing with any kind of obstacles and challenges within this timeline, right here he's coming out of it, okay? Have ears to hear. This card represents the op obstacle, power, struggle, and challenges that you must face in order to overcome them. And obviously he, he, he's overcoming them, okay? He is overcoming them. This could be a difficult period to get through, but it's not impossible if you open your mind and see the bigger picture of how something went wrong. Don't get caught up in it. Just pause and stand back for clarity. See, he needs clarity. He needs clarity to come out of this, but he will. Observe where adjustments are required or which decision may need to be changed to enable you to move forward in a what? Positive, positive direction. Life really is all about learning. Don't play the victim. You hear that? Don't play the victim, cat. Don't play the victim. Take the knowledge you gain from this experience so that you can play it to similar situations in the future. This card comes forth when competition is around you. You hear that, family? This card comes forth when competition is around you, whether it's in your personal or business life. This is an excellent time to think creatively as you ask yourself, how can I make myself shine above the rest? So Kat is definitely contemplating, how can I make myself shine above the rest? Because he knows a lot of new art meets, a lot of new um, comedians that are coming up, you know, behind him. And, you know, if there's something that he still wants to do, you know, uh, as far as you know, perform as far as him being a comedian, you know, he want to make himself shine above the rest, all right? But like I said, due to the conflict, he's coming out of it, all right? Obviously, he's trying to change his mindset to where, as I stated, he not, he's not operating from a place of being uh, negative, all right? He know he needs to move in a, he, need, he know he needs to move differently, okay? And not the way he's been moving because he needs to operate with clarity, Without clarity, he cannot move in a positive way, all right? He won't be able to think in a way that's for his highest good, whether it be personal or business. And then not only that, you know, don't, don't nobody, anybody can really want to work with him if they feel like he's not a pleasant person to be around, okay? If they feel like he's negative and um, chaotic, you know, drama, they're not going to want to be around him, all right? So he got to really, you know... Uh, Think differently, move differently, okay? Let me just say that. I think I left this card out. Um, let me see. Where is it? Yeah, I got to read up on this one real quick. Patience. This card was upside down now. It was upside down. I want to read up on it. Uh, for some reason, in a certain area of his life, he's feeling very impatient. And it could be maybe he's, he's ready to get back out here in the limelight again, you know, but due to COVID-19, you know, he's not able to do that. You know, it, it can be many factors to this card. This card signifies the need for patience, self-control, adjustment, moderation, and balance when dealing with others, as well as yourself. This could be in the areas of how you think and work and how you handle school, recreation, the people in your life, or the spiritual path that set before you. This card also represents temperance to family. As a soul, you have more than one aspect of yourself to draw on for support. It's all about integrating and learning to blend and balance both the physical and the spiritual. You're an ethereal being, I'm sorry, ethereal being in a physical body enjoying a human experience. Therefore, since you both, you should honor all of you. If you go through life denying yourself the joy of combining the aspects, you're missing out on so much of what the world has to offer. Why accept a life that's half lived? The patient card reminds you to open your heart and mind and allow yourself to listen to other people's ideas, thoughts, and perspectives. 
blissful harmony can be achieved where everyone learns to work as one. All benefits, listening, sharing, reaching out will help you renew your, path, your faith in yourself and humankind. You will become more aware of the miracles around you as well as the ones that you have a hand in creating, okay? So basically, I mean, like I said, this card has additional meaning now. It's not so much of also, you know, how he needs to uh, be patient, but also, you know, it speaks from a, from a perspective, you know, uh, Cat needs to change in a way he's creating harmony with those he works with, okay? So people would, would want to work with him, all right? It says, it says the patient card speaks about, you know, him um, opening his heart and mind and allow himself to listen to others, listen to other people, ideas, thoughts, and perspective, okay? And that's someone that's working in harmony, okay? You're working in harmony with people. This is something he, that he needs to do as well, okay? But I believe he will get there. All right. It's pretty much a lesson that he needs to learn. Sometimes, you know, these celebrities, these celebrities, you know, they can be so high minded. You know, it's like they don't want to listen to people. You know, all they want to do is, is, is pretty much what they say go. And they don't want to hear other people's perspective. But, you know, that's something that he needs to get to as well. All right. But things to move more smoothly. All right. And they can have a lot to do with this right here. Maybe he's not seeing the truth in the matter when it comes to that. He's not receiving clarity in that aspect, but I believe that he will. I believe that he will. Sometimes people can get on their high horse. You know how that is, family. You know, all you want to hear is just your voice. You don't want to hear other people's perspective and ideas, but that's something that he needs to learn to do, all right, to create harmony when it comes to business. All right, the last card. Deception and envy. How well do you know the people that are around you, cat? To be forewarned is to be forearmed. This card comes at a time when individuals or conditions aren't what they appear to be. How well do you really know the people around you? Are they telling you everything you need to know? In business, make sure you gather all the necessary information so that you're aware of and understand all the facts. Before continuing, you've worked hard. Don't let others take from you what is rightfully yours. Unfortunately, some people may be envious of your accomplishments. So Kat got some snakes around him, family. He got some people that want to sabotage him. He's worked hard, Kat. Don't let people take what's rightfully yours. This card also represents a time of sudden and unexpected changes. Or when plans that you're undertaking may not turn out exactly the way you envision. Have a plan B as a fallback strategy to prevent future problems. Use this card as a reminder to be prepared. It's better to be safe than sorry. Okay? And that's interesting. Unfortunately, some people may be envious of your accomplishments. So you know what that means, deception and envy. He better watch it because he got people around him that are not really around him for the right reasons. He got people around him that want to see him fall, all right? He got people around him that are trying to set traps for him to fall in. That's why he got operated in this. Power, don't let nobody run over him. He got operated in this. This is upside down. Can't need to operate in this. Truth and clarity. See things for what it is, all right? See things for what it is. And I believe he will. He needs to operate in what? Awareness, okay? So he can see the snakes, all right? So he can see the snakes or anybody trying to get close to him and they're not around him, around him for the right reason. He needs to operate in awareness, okay? And I believe that he, I believe that he will. Because like I said, th these messages are not in divine order, but they are timelines to them. They are, and they will play out. Please know that. If not now, in the, some, some, of this, some of this is going on in the present, but a lot of this has got to play out, okay? I always tell people watch me, with my readings, things got to play out, okay? A lot of it's happening in the now, and a lot of it is going to start happening as the weeks pro progress, 
you know, within three weeks, you know, uh, two months, all right? Definitely before three months, let me just say that. And if he was dealing with a power struggle, which I'm sure, you know, that's part of his character, because he, he definitely... Um, a strong-willed person, all right? I pick, I picked up on that about him. Um, if he was dealing with obstacles and challenges, he, he, he'll be coming out of it, all right? But um, he needs to get this in check, deception and envy, all right? He needs to get this in check. How well do you know the people that are around you? And actually, I don't want to throw nobody up on the bus. You know, I'm not going to say every female that gets in the cat meat is not going to be for his highest good. You know, um, the way you feel about yourself, the way you think about yourself, um, you attract that to you. You know, you either attract it to you or you go out there just trying to gravitate to anybody. You know, that's not good for a male nor a female. You know, it's best, for, it's best to just not be looking and just, you know, eventually you will draw the right person to you. Uh, I'm hoping that's the case with whom, whomever he get with, all right? But um, it's something that he really, really wants. You know, Cat has the, has the fame. He has, you know, the money, uh, the resources and all that. But he wants more. He wants something more tangible, okay? And we know he deserves that. But it starts with him and it ends with him. It's how he chooses to move and the choices that he makes that's going to determine everything concerning that, all right? Who knows? We might end up hearing something about Kat getting married. You know, I, you know, we'll see. All right, right. I'm just going by what I'm seeing right here. You know, there's some things that Kat got to work on, all right? You know, he got to change his mindset, how he moves business-wise, even in his personal life, okay? But this is all I want to see right here. Triumph success. Triumph success. So at the end of the day, no matter what he's going through, he shall come out of it. All right, he shall come out of it, and that's all that matters. But things gonna have to play out. Things gonna have to play out. And in his life, the spirit is letting us know he's pretty much at a place of completion. He's been there, done that. All right, the success that he wanted to obtain, he's he's done it. All right, his goal, he's he's done it. All right, it, it represents completion and fulfillment. He's done it. So I wish Kat all the best for those who do care. You know, keep the brother in prayer, you know, that he will um, be led by the spirit, be led by this right here, his intuition. So he'll make sound judgments, okay? And come out of that negative thinking. Because as long as he keeps doing that, he's going to attract more of it to him. And that's what he don't need, okay? I believe he'll be all right. So this is my update on Cat Williams. If anybody um, wants to uh, put somebody's name down there that you would like for me to do a reading on, you know, I, want, I mean, I get to it right away, but I will get to it eventually. Let me just say that. All right. So anyway, this is my update reading on Cat Williams. I wish his brother much love, much love. I am definitely a fan of his and I wish him well. And I wish many of you much love and positive vibe. Keep your head up. Keep your head up all is well. Today is a good day. Life is good. Peace and love to you all. And bye for now.